Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Bing Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video, we will show you how to create a Microsoft Advertising Account and Microsoft Merchant Center Store. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing, and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. If you are just starting your journey with Microsoft Advertising which was known as Bing Ads before, you will first need to sign up for the Microsoft Advertising account. If you have already created your Microsoft Advertising account then you can skip this step, and, directly sign into your account by visiting, ads.microsoft.com. We have also added this link in the description of this video. Let's create a new Microsoft Advertising account. On your Microsoft Ads sign-in page, you will see options for Sign Up Now and Sign In on the top right-hand side corner. By clicking on Sign Up Now, you will be asked to log in with your Microsoft account. Once you log in with a valid Microsoft account, it will take you to the Create Account page. Here, you need to provide a legal business name, phone number, business location, currency, time zone, and the purpose of primary use of this new account. Please note that, while entering other details of business account, make sure you are entering the details of business location and not details of targeting country of your business. For example, if you are an entity established in India, but planning to sell products in the United States, then enter the business details of India location only. After providing all these details and accepting the Microsoft Advertising Terms and Conditions, you will be able to create an account. Now, you are on the Import or Create Campaign page. Here we have few options like Create a new campaign or Import it, but we are going to skip this step for now by clicking on this link. Now, before going live, you will need to fill the details in the Business Location and Tax Information section like business location, business address, and other details as asked. Save the information filled and then add the billing information by providing the card details. Here we will skip the payment information section for now. But you will have to add the payment information before starting the campaign. And you will be able to do that by clicking on this link given in the overview screen of the account. That's it you have just created a Microsoft Advertising account for your business successfully. But, to be able to submit the products for shopping ads, we need to create the store inside the Microsoft Merchant Center account. Let us see how we can do it. Let's create a new Microsoft Merchant Center store under the Microsoft Advertising account. To create a new Microsoft Merchant Center store, Please navigate to Tools, and then click on Microsoft Merchant Center. If you are not seeing the Microsoft Merchant Center option under the Tools section of your Microsoft Advertising account then you may need to contact Microsoft Advertising Support Team to get it enabled. This option is not visible because you might have provided a business location and business address for the country which is still not supported for Microsoft Advertising product ads. It will take you to the Microsoft Merchant Center page. Please note, for creating a Microsoft Merchant Center store, you will first need to verify your store's primary domain in the Bing Webmaster Tools. You can visit Bing Webmaster Tools either from the option given here or you can directly visit the link for the webmasters, we have given the link in the description. So let's proceed with verifying your primary domain in the Bing Webmaster Tools. Please click on Bing Webmaster Tools option given here and sign in or sign up using the same email account which you have used to sign up for the Microsoft Advertising account. This will help you manage all the Microsoft assets using a single account. After logging into Bing Webmaster Tools, there is a section called Add a Site where you have to add your Shopify store's primary domain in the Enter Site URL field and hit the Add button. While adding the website URL make sure you use your store's custom domain. Yourstore.com, and, not the yourstore.myshopify.com. 
You can also import your already verified domain from your Google Search Console using the import option. If you have done this on Google before, we recommend you to follow the process of importing from Google Search Console. On the next page, it will again confirm your store's primary domain, and below it you will need to add the sitemap of your store. To add a sitemap for your store you just need to add your primary domain, followed by forward slash, and text, sitemap.xml. So the sitemap link will appear as https colon slash slash yourstore.com slash sitemap.xml. Select all day for timing for the most traffic for your store and hit the add button to proceed to the verification page. Here it will show you three options to verify your domain. First, place an XML file on your web server. Second, Copy and paste a meta tag in your default web page. Third, add CNAME record manually to DNS. Now, as our store is hosted on Shopify, the second option is the only recommended for us in which we will need to copy the meta tag and paste it in our Shopify theme.liquid file. So, now to place the code we will go to our Shopify store admin, click on online store from the sidebar, then click on themes. Under the current theme section, click on the Actions drop-down, then, choose the Edit Code option. Locate the theme.liquid file, and open it. Now find the opening head tag as shown here, and paste the copied meta tag under it, and then save the changes. Please make sure your store is already published, and not password protected, or blocked for crawling, using any other meta tag. Now, if your store is password protected then you have to remove the password protection, and make your store as live. Just to check if password protection is enabled, or disabled, go to themes, or preferences. If you see the yellow box section with online store is password protected, then password protection is still not disabled. To disable it, click on Disable the Password button. Then uncheck the Enable Password. And save the settings. Once it is saved, Shopify will show success message that your online store is live and visible to customers. So now as the meta tag is placed and password protection is also disabled, please navigate back to the Bing Webmaster Tools verification page. Click on Verify button available, under Copy and Paste a meta tag in your default web page section. Please note, if it shows any error message like, unable to locate any meta tag on your store, you will need to wait, as Microsoft sometimes takes up to 24 hours to validate the meta tag from your store. As an alternate option, you can also, import your verified domain from Google Search Console for easy verification of your domain in Bing Webmaster Tools. Once Microsoft will validate and verify your domain in your Bing Webmaster Tools, it will show you a dashboard with some basic details about your store as shown here. You can proceed with creating a Microsoft Merchant Center store. So let's get back to the Microsoft Merchant Center page. Now, on the Microsoft Merchant Center page, click on the Create Store button to navigate to enter store info to create a new account. Add Shopify store name in the first field. Select Validated via Bing Webmaster Tools option from Domain Validation drop-down. Then select your primary domain from Destination URL drop-down. Please note, sometimes Microsoft might take a few hours to list your domain under this drop-down even if the domain is already verified in Bing Webmaster Tools. If it does not show the domain in the drop-down even after 24 hours, kindly get in touch with Microsoft Advertising Support and request them to review the domain verification status. Once it starts showing up in the drop-down, select that domain. Then, add a short description for your store in the Store Description field. Please make sure to select the Yes option for SSL checkout, or else Microsoft will straightaway reject your Microsoft Merchant Center store. Now, in the Aggregators section make sure not to block the aggregators. If you block the aggregators then you will not be able to show your products in Bing Ads. Select your preferred language to receive any notifications from Microsoft, from the Language drop-down menu available under the Contact Details section. 
Further, you can also provide contact name and email for technical details which is optional. Then click on Save to create a new account. Please navigate back to the list page of Microsoft Merchant Center Store to check the status of the newly created account. If it shows Approval Pending Status then your account is still under the manual review by Microsoft, which might take up to three business days to verify your domain and other account details. You can contact the Microsoft Advertising Support Team for expediting the review process. Once this store is approved, you will be able to complete the integration process within our app and submit the feed to your newly created Microsoft Merchant Center store. Store's approval status can be checked on this page here. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.